Sean over at Silver Spike Prospecting sent me some of this crushed ore from some of the mine trips that he explores. I'm gonna get it wet and run it down the dream mat. Typically, I wouldn't do these kinds of little runs for folks. It's just, I try to stay away from stuff like this, but he reached out, wanted to see if I could run it over the cleanup buddy and see what comes out. He also sent these two little bags of impure silver. It looks like uh, some cement silver or something like that. We'll play with this stuff as well. So let's get this crushed ore wet. It's like a fine powder and this thing is like a brick. It is heavy. So we'll get it going down the sluice and see if it's got any gold. This stuff is some serious fine grain material. It reminds me of grout. Uh, it smells kind of like it too. It is gnarly. Uh, so I'm gonna get you guys into a time lapse. We'll run this stuff and see if there's any precious metals contained with inside. <laughs> So we got all that material around, let's shut it down. Saw a lot of sparkly silver stuff, but no gold. Got a bunch of heavies in the mat, so let's go ahead and get the mat pulled and see what we see. This stuff was really nasty to run, I will tell you that much. Boys are out back playing squirt guns. It's a great day. 110, 40% humidity. Wet hot, not the dry hot like we're used to out here in Arizona. Go ahead and rinse this thing out. Put it back in. Turn it on. All that stuff out of there. Ah. Got some black sands in the text here. Like I said, I saw a bunch of sh silvery stuff here for sure. Pyrite, if I had to guess. Pyrite or Galena, one of the two. I'm sure you see all that sparkly stuff. It's very cubic in shape. Not, no, uh, no shiny yellow stuff though. Let's take a look at that one more time. There's a piece of pyrite right there. Looks like pyrite. Doesn't look quite like Galena. Focus camera. See that there? Oh, ah. There we go. He's pyrite. And then there's this other heavier rock. What's this? Piece of host rock. You got all that silver or whatever it is in the cupel. Gonna throw it in my oven and get it as clean as I can for you. Never actually just put impure silver or anything like that without collector metals or anything, but it still should do the job. And it's not enough material to run through a silver cell, so let's see what it looks like in about, I don't know, 40 minutes. Now let's go look at that. Uh, recovered pyrite on the scope. And there's a look at the pyrite cube that I was finding from the sluice cones. There's a piece of that rock, and that's what the ore looks like. It does look pretty good, but it's just pyrite. And another piece of it right there. Let me get some of the sands on there and take a look at it. Cool little piece of pyrite, though. Looking at it, 
without magnification. That's what it looks like. This is all the shiny glittery stuff. Some red and green and black sands in there. And looking at it under high magnification, you can even make out some of the quartz crystals in there. And all this shiny stuff is all pyrites. It was a fun little experiment. Like I said, I normally don't run people's comms for them, but I decided to go ahead and do it for Silver Spike. And let's see what that silver looks like in the QPAL. All right, let's open up the devil, the devil's lair. I almost called it the devil's Ford, but I need another nickname for this bad boy. Oh, it's not even close. Stuff's acting weird. All right. Let it go. Alright, I'm gonna check it again. It's been about an hour. I see some melted metal in here. Doesn't look like there's any. We'll let it cool down and see what it looks like. Out here the next morning. Got a mega magnet. This was the puck of something that was in the bottom of the cupel, and I broke all this crusty stuff off the top. Looks like some sort of oxidized metal and it's magnetic, some of it. So that's not any precious metals. I don't know what this is. So here is a look at the puck, and I can actually see quite a bit of copper in there, that red stuff right there in the middle. Haven't been able to you can see some copper too up on the top right there. I haven't been really able to figure out what this crap is, so I'm gonna revert to the one thing I know really well. And that's chemistry. Probably doing way too much work to recover this a small amount of metal. Plus, I don't really know what it is, but we're gonna find out. You guys kinda already know what the deal is. We got some distilled water, some nitric acid, what happens. Catch up with you when the boiling is done. As you can see we already have some green or blue that's either some iron or copper or both and I'll just let this cook. It's 2 p.m. So after dissolving that piece and adding some copper in it we do have some cemented silver. So let me filter that out and show you what that looks like. I'm gonna rinse it off too and get it cleaned up. A lot of copper in that. We were searching for gold in cons, but we found silver in contaminated metal. So there's the copper nitrate. There's some of the cement silver that I did recover, but there's so much crud in there and that magnetic stuff. And it looks like some slag materials in there from refining or something or uh, smelting or something like that. This is cement silver that I get from dropping out the silver nitrate from the silver cell. And it's nowhere near as clean. This is nowhere near as clean as something like this. So I wouldn't even want to really put it in there. I, I could throw it in the forge when I, uh, I don't know what I'll do with this, but um, I'll, like I would throw this stuff in the devil's forge, melt it up into shot and run it to the silver cell. And then this is the silver copper puck that I was dissolving in here. And the problem is, is when this is dissolving, it's also plating out some of the silver, cementing out some of the silver because of the high copper constant, the high copper concentrate in there. And it's passivating. So it films, it covers, covers this slag with a film of cement silver and then it doesn't allow it to continue dissolving it kind of blocks it it's the same thing with silver chloride uh, on gold when you're trying to refine that it kind of blocks it I did cut a little corner off and I'll show you what that looks like underneath the scope you can clearly see copper in there and you know what little silver is in there really the only way I would effectively refine this is to run it through the silver cell or chemically uh, dissolve this whole thing 
with a lot of time and quite frankly i'm just not gonna waste my time doing it it was fun but there's too much contamination and crap in there to really waste my time with but let's see what this looks like underneath the scope and i'll kind of show you those colors that i was talking about this is just a corner i cut off from right there see that taking a look at the microscope there is a whole lot of stuff going in here going on in here this area you can see the copper you can even see some copper staining in there that is pyrite <laughs> what the world is this thing uh no wonder why it wouldn't melt in the oven there's just all kinds of crap in here there's definitely some silver um and then you see some more copper right in there too and probably more pyrite um so yeah that's probably the extent of me working on this material can't say i didn't try there's the edge it's really hard to focus with the light let me turn up the light here go down a little bit more let's see here there's the edge. You can see the brownish red copper over here. It's kind of hard to see. It's just a buffet of metals in here. You kind of see that copper up on the top edge, silvery looking stuff in here, a little bit over here. It's just a blend of weirdness. I'm not the one who uh, made this material, so I don't know quite the history on it, but I did try to mess with it uh, the best of my ability. But uh, yeah, Silver Spike, I'll be sending this stuff back to you. Good luck with it. <laughs> it was fun messing around with it, but not enough material to put through the silver cell as far as the silver goes, and uh, no gold or anything in that material you wanted me to run, so. Can't say we didn't try.